U.S. President Barack Obama has reaffirmed his pledge to close the facility at Guantanamo Bay that holds terrorist suspects. The same day he repeated that pledge in Washington, former Vice President Dick Cheney gave a speech at the American Enterprise Institute making exactly the opposite argument. Cheney defended the very aggressive policies which have been described as torture, which were approved by the Bush administration, especially waterboarding to extract crucial information from terrorist suspects. Now, there is a wide divide here between President Obama's liberal democratic approach, which is to fight the war on terror within traditional legal and constitutional norms, and former President George W. Bush and Vice President Cheney's approach. And they reflect the divisions in America, the divisions between left and right, liberal and conservative, Republican and Democrat. The United States remains a deeply divided issue, and this is only one of the most obvious fault lines between right and left in America. But I'm not going to say left is right, or right is right, or right is wrong. The point is that reality is complex. Constitutional norms are necessary. Laws are necessary to protect our liberties. And sometimes aggressive action by security services and the armed forces of a nation are crucial to ensure the survival of that nation or to save thousands or even hundreds of thousands of lives. We live in a difficult world where while most choices are morally clear cut, sometimes some are not. So former Vice President Cheney and President Obama might do well to listen to each other's arguments and they both might learn valuable things. This is Martin Seif for United Press International.